Hi, in this video I'm going to be taking the printhead out of my Canon printer that I've had for three or four years using um, uh, some water and ammonia to clean it and then allowing it to dry and reinstalling it. So that's the process, so stay tuned. The first step in the process is to turn the printer on like I've done here. After it's gone through its power-up cycle, you can take the front cover up into the open position like this. Within a couple of seconds, the print cartridges will go into the, the position where you normally can install or uninstall the cartridges, as shown here. At this point, it's a good idea to unplug the printer. I know some YouTube videos don't even mention this step, but this is obviously something you should do at this time. Then at this point, you should take down the front cover like I've done here, and also the, this little cannon uh, plastic piece comes down as shown. At this point, I'm positioning this cartridge tray so that it's between the uh, two plastic uh, pieces on the side so that I'll have easy access to remove this, this release bar in the front. As you notice as well, I'm wearing latex gloves. This is very important because otherwise you'll have ink on your fingers and this stuff is very difficult to remove. So this is something you should definitely do when you're fooling around with ink. Taking the ink cartridges out at this point and then putting them on a paper towel. Okay, here you position the cartridge tray so that you have easy access to this release bar in front and you pull it out just a short distance so that it snaps into place. And then at this point you can take the uh, print head out which is in the back part of this assembly. You take the center tab which is marked here in the center of the uh, uh, assembly and you pull it up and out toward you at sort of a 90 degree angle. The corner tab on the left side, as shown here, goes into the left slot in this picture. I've marked it so you can see it. Then the right tab of that printhead assembly goes into the right slot of this uh, picture. I've marked it here, right slot, so that you can see it. So then both tabs slide back and forth on, on these uh, little grooved areas. Fill your plastic painter's tray with no more than about a quarter inch of distilled water and a couple of capfuls of ammonia so that the bottom part of the print head is soaking in that. You may want to refill the, the uh, water and ammonia combination several times. At first it may be very black and then you'll have to dump it out and then put in some more uh, distilled water and ammonia until it gets more and more clear. Then you can start to shake the printer head out a little bit too and then you can see how clean it's going to get. In my case it got pretty clean, you can see it here. You can see how pristine this assembly looks after you get done with the ammonia and water cleaning. When I first started it was really black all over the place. That pigment black ink was on the bottoms and on the sides and uh, it was uh, some really black stuff so it took several iterations to clear it all out but it didn't really take too long maybe 30 minutes or an hour then I dried it by uh, putting it in front of a fan for about for an hour and a half or two hours and that completely dried the assembly off then to put the print head back in, you follow the same procedure as before, but in reverse. You put the tabs in the slots in the sides and slowly snap it back into position and then push that, that back part uh, back upward a little bit and it snaps right in. Then at this point, you snap that 
bar back into position again where it was before and put the ink cartridges back into the printer. Then plug it back in and turn it on. I think I had to press the on button twice because I didn't hit it quite hard enough the first time. Then a message came up saying I didn't turn the power off correctly initially because I pulled the plug instead of turning the power off by pushing the on button, but then I just corrected that by clicking OK. That's no big thing since we were in the middle of, of doing maintenance on this printer. And then the printer came up correctly as it should with the uh, appropriate menu selections, no errors shown or anything like that, and it printed properly after I connected it back to the PC. So that's how I have cleaned the print head on this printer, and uh, you can do the same thing by following the same process if you uh, wish. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day. If you contact a printer repair facility instead of doing the cleaning yourself, they'll probably charge you about $80. Then if the printer needs additional hardware like a new print head, that's an additional charge. That's why a lot of people just decide to buy a new printer since sometimes the cost of replacement hardware is a large part of the cost of a new printer anyway. But at least doing this maintenance yourself saves you money if no additional hardware is needed. And that's always a good thing.